Okay, so welcome back guys and in this video I'm going to teach you guys how you could make a name tag. Now a name tag is primarily used for groups. So you have a group game that you want to like uh, create a name tag system for. This is the video for you. Okay, so let's go to advanced objects which you can open by going to the model tab up here and clicking on advanced objects. Okay, and search up part. So the first thing that we need to do is actually design the part, okay? Now, well, not design the part, you need to design the GUI on the part so you can actually see it visually, okay? So to do that, you just need to click on the part, which you just created, okay? And delete this search and search up billboard UI. Now, what a billboard UI is, is like this container. So as you can see, there should be like an outline around the part, okay, which uh, contains GUIs, okay, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Um, so let's just move this upwards because we obviously want this to uh, be shown properly. So imagine this is the, let me just make this easier for you, for you guys to understand. Um, you can ignore this step, it's just to make you guys, um, you know, understand more just let's make a head okay so imagine this is the user's head okay now this billboard UI represents the area where the tag primarily his name and role in the group are going to be shown okay so as you can see the little square I mean rectangle is inside his head okay we don't want that we want it to be above his head so what we can do is go to properties, which you can open by going to view properties and uh, adjust the studs offset. Now this is in the X, Y and Z axis. Okay. So we want to adjust it obviously in the Y axis because we, we want it to go up. Okay. So if we want it to go up, we'd go and adjust the Y axis. Okay. So we'd go maybe three studs upwards. That should work. Okay. So the thing that we need to change now is obviously this little problem here. So as you zoom out further and further, um, the box gets bigger. Okay. We don't want that because we want it to maintain the same size. So see how there are these numbers here, the size it's an offset. Okay. We need to change that into, um, scale. Okay. So set all these offsets to zero. Okay. And now we're going to scale to one and one. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's not going to get bigger the further away you get. Okay. Now let's go to scale and X. Okay. Right here. We want this to be a rectangle. So we're going to change the scale to four, something like that. Okay. That should be enough. But we also want this to contain the name and a row. So we need this Y to be two. Okay. So half of it is going to be the name. The other half is going to be the row in the group. Okay. So let's actually design text. Okay. So advanced objects again, search up text label. Okay. And one thing we forgot to do is turn off the light influence. So as this goes down, it's true color actually shows. Okay. So make sure this is zero. So see how this also resizes when we uh, zoom out. That's because its size is still an offset. Okay. So we just need to go here, set it to zero again. Okay. And set this scale to one and this to 0.5 because it's going to be half the size of the container in the Y axis the entire size in the X axis. Okay. So now we're just going to make this text scaled. Okay. Let's just write out the name, name, and make it text scaled. Okay. Um, let's remove this to fix that and just click name. I mean type name. Okay. So what that's going to do is just help you, uh, understand better, I guess how your tag is actually going to look. Okay. So the next step is obviously to remove this white background. Okay. Unless you want to keep it, then skip the step. Okay. Just go to background transparency one. 
So basically, the lower the value goes, the the less transparent is going to be. Okay, so let's just set it to one, and let's change the text color here to white. Okay, uh, you could also give it a border if you wanted to by going to text stroke transparency and entering zero. Now. This, I mean, oh, let's give it 0.5. That should look better. Okay, that looks better. So now, let's say you wanted to make it look just a bit better, I guess. Uh, this is completely optional, so you can skip the step if you don't want this. But let's go to UI gradient. Okay, um, this is gonna make it look more fancy. So just while you're clicking on text table, okay, make sure this is highlighted in blue. Uh, Double click on UI gradient and as you can see it's going to create a gradient item inside the text label okay so now we need this rotation to be 90 degrees okay so this is this is what's going to happen uh, let me just set it back to zero to explain uh, click on this not on the actual color okay just click on the numbers and click these three dots and you have two arrows here okay click on the last one then click on the color and make it, uh, I don't know, make it darkish, gray, something like this, okay? Whatever you want, you can make it red. Uh, let's make this, yeah, let's make it this color, okay? I like that. You can make it to any color you want, okay? Now, close up UI gradient, okay? Now, let's make the rotation 90. As you can see, it shifted from being like this so the selection box with my mouse represents the gradient area, okay? So this is the area which is affected. And if you go to this and set it to 90, okay? Now this is the area which is affected. If we set it to 180, for example, this is gonna be the area that's affected, okay? Uh, I think so. Yeah, so this area is affected. And if you keep going, it's just gonna go clockwise, okay? So just make this 90 and now your name tag looks just a bit more polished and fancy and more well made okay so let's call this uh, player name okay it's important to label your stuff properly because if you don't you're gonna get confused while you're scripting it okay uh, name this billboard UI tag okay so, uh, make sure it's organized and then copy this right click and copy then right click on this tag and paste into okay now you have two tags okay you don't need two tags for the name I mean you have two text labels okay you have two text labels player name and player name that doesn't make sense right so let's make this player role okay so this is gonna show like the rank and the group like a uh, cover code general or cover code private okay so let's make this private or role like Actually, yeah role so now you can see they're intersecting like they're inside each other so what you need to do to fix this see how the scale the size of the y-axis the, um, the size in the y-axis of the uh, text label is 0.5 so you just move it 0.5 downwards so what this is doing is it's moving it down gradually like this as you can see it's moving downwards so we're just gonna put it 0.5 because I know where it's meant to be okay now it's 0.5 and now the player has the name and the role okay now I'm gonna give the role a different gradient color I guess uh, let's make the oh my god nope uh, that was not intentional uh, don't do that uh, I did it again oh my god uh, let me just resize this something like this will work okay so let's make this maybe dark red no, not dark red, just red. And this, let's just make this black. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty contrasting, but it, it works, I guess. So now it looks like really cool, okay? So the final thing about the design is changing the font, okay? So if you go to properties again, scroll down and find font while you're clicking on the text label. Um, click on this and just choose any font you like, okay? Um, it should be appropriate to your genre. So let's just make this the uh, the name font and let's just make this semi bold. Okay, so 
this looks more professional now so the design for the tag is done okay so now what we're gonna do is go to service script service and back to the advanced objects and click I mean type script okay there you go you have a script now delete everything inside the first thing we need to do is move this tag drag it all the way into the script okay see how it will be gone from workspace uh, then right click on the part and delete okay you don't need that part anymore now we need to make a function run whenever uh, a player joins the game so they can receive the tag okay so if we uh, click play right now nothing's gonna happen okay uh, no tags whatsoever so to do that you just go ahead and type game dot players dot player joined I mean player added connect function player okay so what this is doing is it's going to through the game going to players and whenever a player is added it's gonna run this function okay with a parameter which is player so this player actually refers to like your character I mean uh, let's just refer to it as your character okay um, covert code in my case yours can be whatever your username is okay so to prove that we're just gonna print out player dot name okay so this is gonna print out the player parameters name it's gonna be covert code okay as you can see now um, ignore this this is from a plugin it's not gonna show up on yours hopefully um, so to do this let's just make a, another uh, function called look, function give tag player okay so this will run whenever you want to give the player the tag so whenever a player joins the game give him the tag and pass the parameter player okay so this is gonna go from here then it's gonna go to here and gets passed here downwards okay um, you also want the player to receive the tag whenever he or she dies okay um, so player dot character dot child I mean dot character oh my god I can't type added connect function you don't need the parameter in this case uh, you just give tag player okay so what this is gonna do is whenever a player's character gets added in the game it's gonna give them the tag okay so to give them the tag we first need to make sure that their um, their character object is not no okay so let's make a simple repeat loop which I mean it's not the ideal way to do this but it's gonna make sure that you don't get any errors okay so repeat wait until player dot character is not equal to no so this is gonna wait until the player's character actually spawns in okay so it makes sure it exists um, then we're gonna clone this tag so local new equals tag I mean script dot tag clone oh my god uh, clone so what this is gonna do it's gonna declare a local variable new okay so what a local variable is is basically new can only be referenced inside this function if I try to reference new here it's gonna tell me that new does not exist okay as you can see it underlines it uh, unknown global new okay so it's gonna clone this tag it's gonna go from script tag clones it creates a copy of it okay now new dot parent is gonna be player dot character wait for child head okay so um, what this is gonna do is it's gonna clone this it's gonna copy the tag and the copy is gonna be placed inside the character's head okay like we did with this part that I deleted here uh, it's gonna do that with the actual head okay so now we actually need to um, change the uh, you know the actual text we need this to be the player's name and we need this to be the actual role in the players group okay so new dot 
actually use this open square bracket because there is a space okay inside the the name of the text label so if there wasn't a space there wouldn't be this need to use the square bracket okay so just like this uh, player name dot text is equal to player dot name so what this is gonna do is basically go to the tag the copy tag and then goes to player name goes to the text property and set it to the player's name okay next we need to do the same thing for the player's role okay but the problem is we haven't actually gotten the player's role okay so to do this we just go player get role in group and you need the group id okay so just go to the roblox uh, website go to your groups page at the top um, in the URL basically there's gonna be an ID similar to this okay just numbers just copy that and just put it in this okay so let's just run and see what happens any errors uh, no errors so far and as you can see uh, I now spawned in as cover code and I have the developer tag pretty much uh, if I reset it should still give me the tag Yep, there we go. So, uh, one final thing before I re-explain everything. Um, go to starter player, okay? Properties, pretty much. And name display distance should be zero, okay? Why? Because um, you know the default sort of name tag you get when you spawn in? That's still going to show with this. It's going to overlap and it's not going to look nice. So just put this at zero, okay? So now, uh, if you understood everything, you can click off the video. Uh, but now I'm going to re-explain what this does, okay? So, what this does is basically, whenever a player joins the game, it's going to run the function uh, give tag. So it's going to go from here, all the way up here, okay? And it's going to wait until the character's character, I mean the player's character is not equal to nil, okay? So it exists, it's going to wait until it's, non it's existent, okay? And then it's going to declare a variable new, which is basically a copy of the tag we created, okay? And it's going to put it inside the character's head, okay? So you can put it in any part of the uh, character, um, preferably the head though, okay? And then you're going to go to the tags, player name, text, okay? And it's going to set it to the player's name. Now, what this is going to do is the same thing. Go to play role and set the text to the role in the and the group ID you gave it. So this is going to be bad ape games role, okay? Because this group ID is for my group bad ape games, okay? So it's going to retrieve this, um, and then it's going to give you the text. So for example, if you're a fan or a private in a group, it's going to say private or fan, okay? So the problem is though, if you're not in the group, and let's just add a number here so it's not my group again, um, it's going to say guest, okay? Because you're not a part of the group, okay? So that's pretty much how you can create a tag for your group. Um, thank you for watching, and I'm going to probably make a video soon about how you can make an obby, okay? See you.